I'm Jack. Welcome to Jack and with Jack, Little Nimrod Fishing. Today I'm going to be doing a review and how I set up my Lowrance hook for chirp. So without further ado, let's get this now video started. Start off with some of the specs of this thing. We got a four inch screen, probably close to a six, five, six inch um unit. And then we have um buttons just controlling. Let me fire it up right now because it's gonna take a little bit to start up. So there's a um, Lorenz hook for um, chirp. So pretty much you have zoom in and out buttons, enter button, you can cursor for your map, menu button, access all your stuff, to change settings on the um, fish finder, and your good old power button which accesses night mode. So now um, let's just wait for it to turn on. Uh, it takes a, well, probably close to, I don't know, it takes a little while to boot up, but here it comes. Just flickered. That's how I can usually tell that uh, it is coming on soon. Yep, there we go. Enter. So let's first start off with. Okay, now what I do? Had on measurement apparently. So let's start off with. You have. So I'm gonna clear off. You have a compass setting and then you have your down scan setting this glare is awful I'm so sorry about that guys Let's see if I can angle it down a little bit okay whatever then you can increase and decrease your range with this then this regular old fish finder color screen then you have your uh, chart plotter Here's Little Seneca Lake. My home lake where I fish at. And it's a pretty big lake. It's a reservoir. Sorry for this poor quality, guys. Then this, you have chart and chart plotter and fish finder. Chart plotter and down scan. Uh, fish finder and down scan. And then you have all of it. So now let's check out some of the uh, or the ways I've installed the battery it. system. It's a Hobie battery kit, um, 12 volt battery. It's fully removable. And then I just have my battery wires running down through here. I don't know if you can see that or not. But I have these. Then I have my uh, transducer wire running to my fish finder. It's a Lowrance. Um, scupper uh, hole installation kit for um, kayaks. So if we go under here, you'll probably see the transducer right here. It's a pretty nice transducer. It's a little bit big, but uh, it's okay for now. And then moving here, you have just a bulkhead West Marine brand. I forget what it's called, but that's the thing to keep the water out. Then moving over here, I have a transducer wire and my battery wire running out here <coughs> excuse me then I have some running up to the back of the unit then I have all my, I have my fuse down here which is the um, black thing with the red wires then there's all my other wiring and all back here is my rudder and stuff and uh, so it was a pretty good setup I'm pretty happy with it right now and um, so this is pretty much it uh, just got wires you know, wire wrap running through here so and then just to power off you can press the good old power button or you can just click power off and please wait powering off done please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe I'll probably do a giveaway when I reach 50 subscribers and probably one and after that probably one for a hundred then every 50 to 100 so again guys thank you so much for watching um, Black Hills Lake, Little Seneca Lake opens up March 1st, which is in a few days, but it's on a Tuesday and you don't have school. But um, that weekend I'm hoping to get out and I'll film it. Got all the GoPros working, got all the accessories now. So um, thank you guys for watching and see you guys on the water.